Question 52. If a cube minus b cube equals to 3a square b plus 5ab square, where a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0, show that log of a minus b over 2 is equal to 1 over 3 log a plus 2 times log b. Now this is a challenge problem in the series of logarithms and it's kind of a very interesting problem. So what you see here is a cube minus b cube equals to something. So that's give you an idea that uh, we can form it in a cubic form and then probably get the solution. So uh, you remember what is the formula for a minus b whole cube? Well let me write this here for you and then we'll try to solve from there. So I'm trying to write what is a minus b whole cube equals to. So a minus b whole cube is a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube. That is what is a minus b whole cube. Now in this expression we are given a cube minus b cube equals to something. Let me write this down again. We have a cube minus b cube equals to 3a square b plus 5ab square. Now if I have to make this a cube then what I need is to write down add these two terms right. I already have a cube minus b cube but I don't have these two terms right. So if I add these two terms on both the sides, I can make left side as a minus b whole cube. So that is the strategy which I am going to work with. So what I am doing is I am adding uh, minus a square b and plus a b square on both the sides. So that will result into a minus b whole cube. Let me do it addition in this ink. So I am adding minus 3 a square b and plus 3ab square on both the sides. So I'm adding here and I'm also adding on this side which is minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So I get this term. So when you add or subtract same things from equalities then equality is maintained. It's an equivalent equation and the rest of the terms on the right side are 3a square b plus 5ab square. So that is my equivalent equation and our left side is a minus b whole cube and that was the whole purpose right. So let's write down this as a minus b whole cube equals to what is the right side. So minus a square b and plus a square b cancel out and we are left with 3ab square and 5ab square. So when you add them you get 8 a b square. So get 8 a b square on the right side. Right? Now 8 can be written as 2 cube. Remember that. So 8 can be written as 2 cube. Now this is what we need to prove. a minus b and cube well 1 over 3 a b square a b square. So we are very close to it. Now 2 you can get as 2 cube of 8. So, so I'll bring 8 this side. That means I will divide both sides by 2 cube. So I am dividing by, let's divide by 2 cube, right? 2 cube is what? 8, right? So then I get a minus b 2 whole cube. Do you see that? And here 8 divided by 2 cube is 1. So we are left with a b square. Perfect. So we got this. Now to get our result, we need to take log on both sides. So if I take log on this side, both sides, then I get log of a minus b over 2 whole cube equals to log of a b square. Correct. Now, now this is like 3 times log of a minus b square and this we can write in the expanded form, right? Product form. Correct. So that will probably give us this. Yes, it should. So we get here 3 times log of a minus b over 2 and here 
we get log of a plus log of b square correct now we'll further simplify this we'll take this equation to the right side now here right so let me rewrite this equation first for you it is 3 log of a minus b over 2 equals to log a plus log b square correct now b square can be written as 2 log b right so we have 3 log of a minus b over 2 equals to log of a plus 2 log b well that is what it is so we just need to isolate log a minus b over 2 and then get our results which is a minus b over 2 equals to one third of log of a plus 2 times log of b and that is how we can show that a cube minus b cube equals to this then that is true perfect so it's a lot of manipulation but that is how you do it and this is a real challenge problem i will appreciate if you go through it once again and try to understand exactly what we did to solve this problem okay i hope you like it thank you